Once upon a time, as many stories begin, there was a magical kingdom, a kingdom of dreams come true, and the very place where a fairy godmother had just named a new apprentice. Each day the apprentice would visit a beautiful enchanted garden. It was the perfect spot to practice her magic, as it was filled with flowers and plants and sparkling creatures known as sprites. The sprites helped tend the garden, but one day something happened. The apprentice accidentally changed the sprites into mischievous imps. Oh, I have to fix this. Now, what were those magical words? Oh, yes. Higgly? No, no. Figgly? Miggly? No! Oops! <laughs> Okay, think, think, the magic words. Hey, where are you going? Get back here! Who's gonna take care of the magical garden? Oh no, now they've blocked the entrance. I've gotta find a way through. Oh, I know, maybe I should try some magic. Oh, I better check on the garden. I bet those imps have made a real mess in there. Where did all my beautiful flowers and plants go? There's only one left. Oh, poor little plant. You need water, don't you? I'll get you some from the well. Good. That's better. I don't like seeing any sad plants. Now, I'll just go and see where those imps have flown off to. I'm starting to think they could cause some real trouble. The apprentice knew that through each portal was another kingdom. But luckily, they were locked and only the magical crystals could open them. Now, I know those imps are in here somewhere. But I guess as long as they don't take the crystals... Oh no! I have to fix this! What is it my teacher is always telling me? If I believe in my heart, Anything is possible. Well, I won't let her down. I can make this right. I have to. Now it was all up to the apprentice, for the imps had entered the other kingdoms, and who knows what trouble they could be causing. You see, even the slightest change could mean that happily ever after might never happen. Bonjour, I'm Belle. I haven't seen you in the village before. Are you new here? Yes, actually, I am. Well, welcome to our little town. I was just reading the most wonderful story, but then I started hearing strange noises, so I was on my way to investigate when you arrived. Oh dear, I have a funny feeling I know what that noise might be. Why don't you stay here and I'll go see? Thank you, that's very kind. It will give me a chance to finish my book. Oh, hello again, mademoiselle. I was just noticing that the trees around the village look very dry, and they're usually so colorful this time of year. I hope that nothing is wrong. I'm sure it can be fixed. Let me go check on them. Maybe I can bring their spring colors back. I'm not sure what you did, but the trees look beautiful now. Thank you. Well, I'm off to continue my marketing, and later I'm going to visit the baker. There's been quite a bit of commotion at his shop. You know, I wonder if he could use your help too. Sacre bleu! My magnificent pastries! Something keeps destroying them! Oh my dear, could you please look at the pastries on these trays and see if you could get to the bottom of this catastrophe? Oh, thank you for saving my desserts! Now things can get back to normal. Which means Belle should be stopping by to pick up a loaf of fresh bread for her father, Maurice. I wonder what's keeping her. Hopefully the poor girl hasn't been stopped by that oaf Gaston again. That doesn't sound good. I'll go find her and make sure she's okay. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. When I got home, this gluey, gooey web was covering my house. I'm sure it's Gaston up to one of his mean tricks again. Don't worry, Belle. I'll help you. I know just what to do. Look, you cleaned all the webs off. Thank you. Now I can check on my papa. 
He's been working on his latest invention. After that, I thought I might go for a walk in the woods. If you haven't visited the woods yet, you really should. I know you'd enjoy it. Goodbye. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh, you must tell me, have you heard those strange sounds? Quite unusual for the woods this time of year. What could be making such a noise? I think I know what it is. I'll go take a look for you. Merci. Merci, mademoiselle. I'm not sure what you did, but the woods feel at peace again. I'm glad I could help. There shouldn't be any more problems out here now. You know, my dear, I believe the bookseller could use your assistance as well. He's been grumbling about something lately, but I'm not sure what the problem is. However, I do know that his shop has been a bit untidy lately. Oh, I'd be happy to help the bookseller. I'll go to the bookshop right away. It's unbelievable! Unbelievable, I say! It's like the books have come alive! All they do is fall. Fall! 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 Do you think perhaps I need new shelves? Ah, that must be it. Do say you'll help me, mademoiselle. Of course. But I may be able to solve the problem before you have to go through all that trouble. Oh, that is so much better. Everything has settled down thanks to you. Now, I need to make sure I find a new book for Belle. She's read most of them at least twice already. Oh, hello again, sir. Is something wrong? Yes, very wrong. All sorts of things have been disappearing from my shop and I can't find them anywhere. Perhaps I should let the town constable know about this mischief. I'm usually pretty good at finding disappearing things. Let me see if I can help. I think I found out what was wrong. You shouldn't have any more problems now. Oh, thank you, mademoiselle. I knew I could count on you. Now hurry off. Belle is looking for you by the bridge near her home. Thank you for coming so quickly. I know you can help. You see, Papa was getting ready to leave for the inventor's fair with his newest invention, but some of his tools are missing from his toolbox. He needs those tools to finish his wood chopping machine. I don't think it was a thief, because I saw one of the tools floating by on its own right in front of the house. Could you please see if you can return all the tools to Papa's toolbox? Oh, thank you for helping Papa. Now he can finish his invention and go to the fair. Oh, you know, I'm actually glad that he'll be away. Something peculiar has been happening in the village, and I wouldn't want him to worry. Peculiar? Hmm, I think I know what the problem is. Thank you again. It really is very kind of you to help me so much. It was my pleasure, Belle. Would you like to join me for some tea? I have a new book that we could read. I'd love to, but I'm afraid I have to go. Of course, I understand. But I hope you'll come back to visit me again. Au revoir! Au revoir, Belle. Goodbye! It's you! Oh, I'm so glad you found me here. This is the Beast's Castle. It's where I live now. You live here? Aren't you scared of the Beast? Well, I was a little. At first, he was very rude. But now, well, we've become friends. There's something kind in his eyes. Oh, I'd love to show you the castle and introduce you to my friends. But I'm afraid we can't enter. Do you think you could help? Sure, let me try. Look, the barrier's gone. I knew you could help. Now, before we go inside, I was hoping you might be able to spruce up the shrubs in the woods. They look so gloomy. And you did such a wonderful job with the trees when we met before. It would be my pleasure to cheer up the woods. Oh, that looks so much better. Thank you. It was no problem at all. I love to help my friends. Well, I have a friend who would love to meet you. His name is Lumiere, and he's waiting for you in the kitchen. Please, go say hello to him. <gasps> it is you, mademoiselle. Belle told me how helpful you are, which means you are just in time. The dishes, they will not stay on the shelves no matter what I say to them. And it is almost time to serve dinner for Belle and the master. Don't worry. I think I know how to get the dishes to behave. <laughs> I see you have a way with place settings. Now we can properly serve a magnificent feast. 
while I handle the finishing touches. Would you go and check on Belle? You'll find her in the library. It is her favorite place in the castle. I was just about to come find you. Look at the library. It's covered in more of those horrible webs. What do you suppose could do such a thing? It can't possibly be spiders. Nope, I don't think it's spiders. But not to worry, I can fix it. Bravo! That was wonderful! Now we just need to find three books and the library will be truly fixed. I'm sure you've noticed that all the objects in this castle are enchanted. So when the webs appeared, the books got frightened and flew off toward the woods. I'll go find the books. You stay here and make sure everything else is all right. Oh, thank you for returning the books. You really are a wonderful friend. Oh, goodness. I need to get ready for dinner. Will you see if Lumiere needs any help in the dining room? Sure. Sacre bleu, it is a disaster. The desserts are being destroyed as quickly as the cookies making them. I bring the cakes out here, and as soon as my back is turned, they are ruined. What can it be? I've got an idea. And I know I can help. Just leave it to me. Mademoiselle, you have saved the desserts. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, perhaps you will think about staying at the castle? We could use your sort of help here every day. <gasps> in fact, would you go and check on the Master's Rose in the West Wing? It is very fragile and we mustn't let anything harm it. Oh, but be sure the Master doesn't see you. Of course, Lumiere. I'd be happy to. Oh no! The Beast Enchanted Rose is missing! I bet those pesky imps took it. But where could they have gone? Hmm... They weren't in the hallway. Oh! I know! They must be outside! Imps! I knew it! Now I just have to figure out which one of them has the rose. Oh, Moussari, you have saved us once again. Cogsworth and I are most grateful. Now, we must attend to matters in the kitchen. Uh, would you go and see how Belle is getting along? She asked to see you in the ballroom. Oh, I'm glad you got my message. I was hoping you could help me with this piano. It's acting rather odd. Oh, I think I may know what's wrong. Let me try and play something. Bravo! That was amazing! You certainly have a way with enchanted musical instruments. Now, if it's not too much, could I ask you for another favor? Of course. What can I do? Well, you see, I'm having dinner with the Beast tonight, and he's asked me to dance with him afterwards. I haven't danced in quite some time. Would you help me practice? I'd love to, Belle. That was so much fun! Thank you! Now, before you go, I was hoping you could check on one more thing for me. There's been a strange light outside the castle doors. I just don't want anything to spoil this special evening. I'll take care of it. No strange lights will bother you tonight. Well, thank you, again. You truly are a wonderful friend. You're very welcome, Belle. Goodbye, then. I hope to see you again soon. Now I need to stop that imp before it uses the crystal to open another portal. If it does, we could lose the crystal forever. That's a little startling. It's like you popped up out of nowhere. But I'm very glad to meet you. My name's Rapunzel. It's nice to meet you too, Rapunzel. While you were walking through the forest, you didn't happen to see any wanted posters, did you? See, there's this man. His name is Flynn, and he's kind of my guy. He's taking me to see the floating lights, which is what I dreamed of my entire life. Except now there are all these wanted posters of him in the forest. And I'm just worried that if we don't get rid of the posters, someone might recognize Flynn and take him away. And then I wouldn't get to have my dream come true. Well, I'd be happy to help you take down the posters. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now I don't have to worry about Flynn getting caught by the Royal Guards. Right, Pascal? Pascal? That's funny. I wonder where he went. Who are you looking for? My chameleon, Pascal. He likes to hide, but he always comes out when I call. Oh, I hope he didn't get lost and go back to the tower. 
Why don't you look around here, and I'll go look for him in the tower. It's so beautiful here. If only these shrubs didn't look so sad. They're making the woods really gloomy. Hmm. I think this is a good time to use my twirl magic so I can perk up these pouty plants. There, that's much better. Oh, but it looks like something's wrong at the tower. Who's throwing all these paint jars out of the tower? Oh, it must be those imps. I better catch the jars before they hit the ground and smash. I bet I'll find the imps inside the tower. And hopefully Rapunzel's friend Pascal, too. Under imps! I knew it! Now I have to find Pascal. Rapunzel said he's a chameleon, and that means he can change color. So he could be hiding anywhere. Hello, Pascal. You know, Rapunzel's very worried about you. She's looking for you all over the forest. <laughs> well, let's go. I have a funny feeling there are more imps out there in the forest. Plus, I still haven't found the missing crystal. It's okay, Pascal. I just have to change the imps into sprites to remove this barrier. Then we can go find Rapunzel. <laughs> Wait for me, Pascal. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Pascal and I were going to meet Flynn, but then we got to this broken bridge. Now I'm not sure which way to go. Let me go and see if there's another way across. Why don't you wait here in case Flynn comes back? I'm sure it was the imps that took the bridge pieces. Guess I'll have to use magic to return them so Rapunzel can keep following her dream. Thank you for finding all of the pieces to the bridge. I started to try and fix it, but, well, I've actually never fixed a bridge before. Let me see if I can put it back together. You did it! Oh, thank you for helping us. Now Pascal and I can meet Flynn, and then he can take me to see the floating lights. Good luck, Rapunzel. I'm sure the lights will be just as beautiful as you imagined. Hey, I know you. Flynn and I just arrived here in the kingdom, but the royal guards were on the bridge, so Flynn had to hide. I told him I'd meet him in the village, only there's this strange wall blocking the path. I think I can help, Rapunzel. Just give me a few minutes. Hmm, I've never seen this kind of log before. Let's see. Oh, I bet it's a color matching lock. So I just need to use my twirl magic to make each lamp glow the same color as the pattern on the ground that's pointing to the lamp. Once all the colors match, the barrier should go away. Thank you for clearing the path. Now, I don't suppose you know anything about webs, do you? Because there's some very odd ones all over the village, and they aren't anything like the cobwebs I clean out of my tower back home. Actually, I'm really good at cleaning out webs. Don't worry, I'll get rid of them. Did you hear? It sounds like something exciting is happening in the village square. Come on! I can't wait to see what's going on. Something tells me this isn't the good kind of exciting. I hope I can help. Did you see the disaster that's taken place? Our beloved mural has completely fallen apart, and the pieces are all jumbled into a giant mess. You know what? I think I can help put the pieces back together. Oh, I see my friend Rapunzel waving at me. I'll go find out what she needs. Goodbye, sir. Oh, look at this amazing drawing the village children made. Isn't it beautiful? I wanted to show it to Pascal, but he's disappeared again. Would you help me look for him? Of course. Oh, Pascal, isn't this drawing incredible? <laughs> Thank you for finding him. You're getting very good at playing his hide-and-seek game. But while you were gone, something happened at another wall mural, the one over there. You were so helpful with the first mural. Do you think you could help fix that one too? Absolutely. It was the strangest thing. This wall mural just came apart, and the artist moved away so long ago, I don't know how we'll ever fix it. I'd be happy to give it a try, if you'd like. Well, thank you, my dear. That looks much better. Now, if you have a moment, I think the baker could use some of your special skills. He seems to be a bit frustrated as of late. The baker? You got it. I'm sure I can help. I can't explain it. I can't explain it at all. Something very mysterious keeps eating all of my pastries. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm flattered, but sugar and flour are expensive. Eating sweets? Hmm. I bet I know what it is. Could you show me the pastries? 
Oh, thank you. Uh, hopefully I won't ever have that problem again. But I do wonder what was causing it. Oh, well, never mind. Have you noticed the odd things happening at the castle? No, but I'd better go take a look and see if I can help there, too. Looks like the imps have been busy. But that's okay. I know just what to do. Oh, dear, dear. Do you think you could help us with the lanterns? You see, several of them have just gone and extinguished themselves. If they don't get relit, they'll never float, and that would ruin the whole festival. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. All fixed. Now the lanterns can be released. Oh, thank you, thank you. You've saved the festival. Goodness, that's never happened before. The lanterns are going in the wrong direction. It can't be the wind. It's not blowing that way. No, no. If all the lanterns disappear, the festival of lights will be ruined. I've got to stop the imps before they ruin everything and Rapunzel doesn't get to have her dream come true. Thank you so much for your help. Flynn's going to be here in just a moment so we can watch the floating lanterns together. And I know that wouldn't be possible if it weren't for you. Pascal and I are very lucky to have met you. If there's ever anything we can do... Actually, I am looking for a special crystal. Have you seen one anywhere? A crystal? Oh, that's what it was! I saw one floating by the front of the castle. That's funny. I didn't know crystals could fly. Thanks. I'll go look for it now. It was wonderful to meet you. Good luck. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Rapunzel. Give me back that crystal. Phew. That was really tiring, but fun, too. Now, I just need to put this crystal back where it belongs. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Flounder. You haven't seen my friend Ariel, have you? Ariel? No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. See, I was supposed to watch her, but she wanted to go exploring. And it was human stuff and sunken treasures. And then she swam into that giant boat, and I tried to get inside, but I couldn't. Don't worry, Flounder. I know just what to do. Thanks. Gee, uh, it looks pretty dark in there. Guess we better go inside and look for Ariel, huh? You know, if you wanted, I could try to find Ariel in case there was something else you had to do. Wow, that would be great. Because, um, I, I got to get back to the treasure cave and, uh, make room for all the new treasures Ariel finds. Yeah, that's it. Oh, hello. Hi, you must be Ariel. I met Flounder outside and he said I'd find you here. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Oh, would you like to look for human treasures with me? Because <laughs> I could really use your help. Oh, every time I find a new what's it or a thingamabob, it floats right out of this window. Isn't that odd? Hmm, that does sound weird. Why don't I try to figure out where everything's going while you look for more treasures? Oh, that sounds like a great plan. I'll see you soon. <gasps> you did it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take these right up to the surface and show my friend Scuttle. <laughs> Would you like to come with me? Sure. I'm not very fast, but I'll try and keep up. Well, if it helps, there's a really easy path through the treasure cave. Oh, Flounder can show you where it is. Oh, I think I'll do that. See you at the surface. Huh, you're here. Phew, see those big bubbles? They're blocking the way to the surface. I was gonna take care of them. But, uh, maybe you could check them out? I mean, since you're going that way. Cool, now you can get to the surface. I bet Ariel's up there talking to Scuttle. He knows everything there is to know about human stuff. Well, hey there. You must be Ariel's new friend. Pleasure to meet you, kid. Name's Scuttle. Now, it's not every day you meet a new mermaid, so I think this calls for a celebration. Let's see, where did I put that banded bulba snarf plant? It was right here. <laughs> Scuttle, why don't we show my friend all the amazing human treasures you found? Great idea. Always thinking, kid. I like that. Now, they're just over... Say, they were here a second ago. Ah, oh, 
I'm sorry, sweetie, but all that human stuff keeps disappearing on me. Must have been the sea snails. Can't keep their feet off of anything shiny. Actually, I might know what happened. Let me take a look around and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you found everything. Oh, I'm gonna go add these to my collection right now. Wanna join me? I wish I could, but I have to go look for this crystal I lost. I understand. Ooh, if you're going back to Atlantica, could you stop by my father's throne room? Sebastian's probably there, and I just want to make sure he knows I'm all right. Oh, he worries about everything. Of course. Goodbye, Ariel. You too, Scuttle. It was nice meeting you. Have fun, kiddo. Drop by anytime. What a disaster. My career is ruined. I am the laughing stock of the entire kingdom thanks to Ariel. I tell you, that concert was to be the finest I ever conducted. But could Ariel bother to show up? No! Her father, the king, is gonna throttle me! That is, if he doesn't delay me first when he sees all these fishy-looking webs. You, little girl, did you see the hurricane that hit this room? I'm afraid I didn't, but maybe I can help clean up. <laughs> that would be marvelous! I have to figure out how I'm gonna explain to the king why his favorite daughter didn't sing at his concert. Don't worry. You go talk to the king, and I'll start cleaning. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Everything is back to normal! Oh, thank you, my dear. Now, tell me, have you seen Ariel fitting about anywhere? Oh, yes. I saw her earlier. She's out exploring. Would you like me to find her for you? Absolutely! And when you do, you tell her to get herself back here this minute! She better not be doing any more of that swimming up to the surface. Those humans are nothing but trouble. You got it. I'll find her. It was nice to meet you, Sebastian. Is everything okay, Flounder? Where's Ariel? She went up to the surface again to see this big human boat. But she's been gone a really long time, and I think there's a storm coming. Well, I'm sure she'll be back soon. Maybe we could collect those treasures for her while we wait. Uh, I don't know. There's lots of puffer fish and eels over there. And we, uh... We don't get along. Yeah, that's it. Maybe you could grab the treasures, and, and I'll take them back to the treasure cave. No problem. You just stay here, and I'll be back in a minute. Wow, you're really good at that. I don't suppose you could help me with those giant clams, too. See, Sebastian told me to get them open so he can collect the pearls for King Triton, but they keep ignoring me. You got it, Flounder. Ah, oh, that was great. Thanks. I'm going to take all the human stuff we collected to the treasure cave. When you see Ariel, would you tell her to meet me there? Sure. I'll go see if she's still up on the surface. Hi, Ariel. Oh, hi. Isn't the beach beautiful? I usually love coming up here, but something's different today. Oh, do you think anybody could be watching us? Daddy can't find out that I swam to the surface. Let me take a look. I'll be right back. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Did you see Eric? Oh, he lives up there in the castle, above the beach. Wow, I didn't know that you'd met a human before. Well, we haven't actually met, but I rescued him during the storm. He was sailing home and got thrown overboard. Oh, I've just got to see him again. I'm sure you will, but not now. You have to get back to the palace. Sebastian says you're really late. <gasps> the concert. Oh my gosh, I have to go. Thank you so much for helping me. I hope we meet again soon. Uh, goodbye. <gasps> it's you. Oh, I'm so glad you came back. Me too. I was hoping we could go on another adventure. <gasps> That's what I was thinking. In fact, if we could just find a way to get past all this icky seaweed, we could look for human treasures inside the boat. Oh, I know how to get rid of that seaweed. Give me one second. You did it! Now we can go... <gasps> Flounder! Oh no! I promised Flounder I'd help him by the treasure cave. But if I go now, the current might wash away all the amazing human stuff inside the boat. Like, I can go help Flounder while you get the treasures here. 
Oh, that would be fantastic. Thank you. I can do this. I can do this. Wow, you're back. That's, uh, that's great. Because, uh, there's some pufferfish and eels up there guarding those treasures. And I really want to get them for Ariel. But, you know, I kind of got this cold and... That's okay, Flounder. I'm here to help. Who? I mean, cool. If you get the treasures, I'll bring them to the treasure cave. You got a deal. Whoa, that was really brave. Ariel's gonna love this stuff. I just gotta figure out how to get it past Sebastian. Hey, do you think you could, you know, talk to him while I get these into the treasure cave? Sure, I'd be happy to. Now what am I gonna do? Those fish are supposed to be guarding the palace gates, but they all went and got themselves trapped in those bubbles. If the king gets to the gates and the fish ain't there, he's gonna fire himself a crab. <laughs> I think I can help you, Sebastian. Just wait here. Oh, thank you, thank you, young lady. Now, I just gotta make sure them fish get to the gates before the king. I'm glad I could help. Well, if you're still in a generous mood, would you mind tracking down Ariel? I think she's up to something in that theater. I tell you, that girl can get into trouble faster than a shark can catch a squid. Find Ariel in the theater. Got it. Hurry, I need your help. Just look at Daddy's theater. It's covered in more of that sticky seaweed. Well, it won't be for long. I'll get this place cleaned up for you. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. But gosh, the coral looks kind of gloomy, doesn't it? I hope it's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just let me, um, polish it up a bit. Oh, look. The coral's beautiful. Oh, it's almost like magic. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help. <laughs> well, Daddy will be here any minute, and I know he's going to love it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I was supposed to meet Flounder at the sunken boat, and I completely forgot. I could go look for him, if you'd like. That way you can stay here and meet your father. Oh, that would be so great. Thank you. Gee, what's wrong, Flounder? Ah. Uh, it's just that I found this giant statue of that human Ariel's crazy about. You know, Eric? But before I could show it to her, the sea witch's two creepy eels got it and took it back to her lair. I tried to follow them, but I just couldn't get past the entrance. I'll go look for the statue. Why don't you go back to the treasure cave and I'll meet you there. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Oh, and uh, don't let the sea witch catch you. I know what to do. I just have to get rid of those imps. Then the barrier will stop blocking the entrance. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. It's too easy. The child is in love with a human, and not just any human. A prince! <laughs> oh, her daddy. What was that? Who's there? I warn you, I don't take kindly to intruders. Boys, stop playing around. You got the statue! Ah, oh, Ariel's gonna love it! Why don't I go find her so you can give it to her? You do that? Cool! I'll be back in no time. More imps! I've got to change them back into sprites before they cause any more mischief. Hey, Ariel, what you doing? Oh, I was just daydreaming. Well, hurry. You have to come to the treasure cave. Flounder and I have a really big surprise for you. A surprise? Oh, I love surprises. I'll meet you there. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you. It looks just like him. It even has his eyes. Oh, why, Eric, run away with you? <laughs> well, this is all so, so sudden. <laughs> We're glad you like it. Oh, please, is there anything I can do to thank you? Well, is there any chance you've seen a crystal? Oh, let me think. You know, I did see something shiny floating by the sunken boat. It could have been a crystal. Why don't you try looking there? 
I will! I hope to see you both again very soon. Thanks for being such good friends. <laughs> you have to go? But what if there are more pufferfish or eels? <laughs> oh, you'll be fine, Flounder. I think you're a lot braver than you know. I've got to get that amp before it uses the crystal to make a new portal. If it does, I'll never see the crystal again. There's the imp, and it has a crystal. Oh, slow down! I got it! That means Ariel's kingdom is safe now. But I still have to find the other crystals. Wow! What a beautiful manor! I wonder who lives here? Oh, hello! <gasps> You're Cinderella! Yes, that's right. Have we met before? Mm -mm. I'm just... uh... visiting. <laughs> well, it's very nice to meet you. Are you here to see my stepmother, Lady Tremaine? Or perhaps one of my stepsisters, Drizella or Anastasia? No, actually, I'm looking for... uh... Well, have you seen anything strange around here? Why, yes, I have. And it's the most unusual thing. All of a sudden, there are cobwebs everywhere I look. No matter how carefully I clean, they just keep appearing. And Stepmother says I must have the manor completely sparkling, or I can't go to the royal ball. Why, look! All the cobwebs are gone! Thank you so much for helping me. You're very welcome. I was wondering, before you go, could you help me with the candles? They seem to have all gone out. Sure, that'll be... Oh, that's much better. Thank you. You're welcome. Everything looks so nice now that it's all bright and glowing. It is nice, isn't it? I don't suppose I could trouble you for one more favor, could I? You see, I'm looking for my mouse friend, Gus. He went into the woods a little while ago and hasn't come back yet. Poor Gus is always getting himself into trouble. Could you help me find him? I'd be happy to help. And don't worry, I'll find him. Oh, there you are. You must be Gus. You know, Cinderella has been very worried about you. What are you doing out here? Ooka ooka! Pity paper! Oh, is that what you're trying to get? It looks like an invitation! Tuck, tuck, to the ball! Oh, it is an invitation! Then it must be Cinderella's invitation to the ball! She won't be able to go without it! No wonder you were so upset! Don't worry, Gus, I'll help you get it! Tuck, tuck. Oh, hello there! Who are you? I'm a Chuck! Gotta hurry! mean Cinderella's dress for the royal ball. Suck, suck. Mice my surprise of Cinderella with pity pity dress. But needle and thread all adorn. Hmm. Well, I don't see any needle and thread around here. In the walls. Somebody took her there. All those things are in the walls? But how would I get in there? Oh, I have an idea. Sit inside, I'm much too tall. Magic's the trick to make me small. Cinderella's gotta have a necklace. That's right. 
Cinderella needs a necklace for the royal ball. Where could it be? Hmm. Oh, Jack, no. Gus Gus have it. Then I'll find him and that necklace. Gus Gus right to hide from Rusafi in our music room. Better look at that. The music room. Got it. You stay here, Jack, and I'll be right back. Uh, Ruka Ruka! Gus Gus to rob a Cinderella pity pity pearls! Cinderella's necklace is in the piano. Chug chug! Well then, Gus, I think we'll just have to play one of my favorite songs. <laughs> See, I knew Imps didn't like music. Now we just need to get that necklace. Gus, you take that straight to Cinderella, and I'll meet you there. Chug chug! Oh, look at this beautiful dress. Have you ever seen such a beautiful dress? Wow, it's very pretty. I'm sure you're going to have a magical time at the Royal Ball. Oh, I hope so. You see, my fairy godmother made me this beautiful coach and transformed all of my mouse friends into horses. But now the wheels have disappeared. Oh, I'm afraid I'll never be able to get to the Royal Ball in time. Just wait here. Let me see what I can do. Thank you so much. Going to a Royal Ball in a beautiful gown and a sparkling coach. Why, it's like a dream come true. I've got to find those imps. I bet they're not finished making mischief. Maybe I should go and check to make sure they haven't caused any trouble down the road. Dear, we can't get through. Whatever could be stopping us? Do you think you could help? I have a feeling you can do magic just like my fairy godmother. I'd be happy to. Just wait right here. All fixed. You should be able to get to the ball without any problems now. I hope you have a wonderful time. Oh, thank you. I won't ever forget how much you've helped me. Wait, you should come too. I'm sure my fairy godmother could make you a dress. I'd like to, but I have to find the special crystal first. Maybe I'll see you there All later. All right, then. Goodbye. Oh, hi, Cinderella. But wait, how come you're not inside? Something seems to be blocking my way, but I'm not sure what it is. Could you try to use your magic to help? I don't want to be late for my first royal ball. Oh, let me see what I can do. That's strange. The clock tower is chiming so oddly. I think I might know what's wrong. I'll be right back. I better see what's happening up there. If the clock doesn't chime correctly, Cinderella's night at the Royal Ball will be ruined. Now I need to make sure there aren't any more imps inside the palace. They could really mess up Cinderella's happily ever after. Imps no more, soon you'll be sprites. It's time for me to set things right. Thank you for clearing the staircase. I'm sure I can get through now. But I think you may be needed in the ballroom. It seems something odd is happening in there. Don't worry, I'll go see what it could be. I think I have a good idea. Hello, sir. You look as if you've seen something strange. I most certainly have. Why? All the food is floating away. Each time I fill my plate, it just drifts off. Do you suppose this is part of the evening's entertainment? I'm not sure, but I'd be happy to go investigate for you. Everything's all fixed. You should be able to enjoy your meal now. Well, thank you, dear. But I'm afraid everything is not all fixed. The guests in the garden are in a fluster about some hubbub or another out there. Oh, well, I'll go see if I can help them, too. Oh, my! Would you just look at the garden? It's all covered in icky, sticky webs! It's shameful, I tell you! And all this on the night the prince is courting a mysterious maiden! Why, this could ruin the whole evening! Maybe you should go and check on the prince while I try to take care of the garden. That's a marvelous idea, my dear. Aren't you clever? Oh, that's much better, dear. Now there's only one thing missing. A romantic ambience. If you could light all the lanterns, it would provide the perfect mood. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll make it so the garden's all aglow. What a wonderful job you've done, dear. 
The garden looks absolutely magical. Oh, and there was a young lady asking for you. I believe she's the mysterious maiden the prince is fancying. Thank you, ma'am. I'll go find her right away. Oh, I'm so glad you got my message. You see, I'm a little nervous. The prince's special waltz is about to begin, and I've never danced it before. I was wondering if you could help me. I'd love to. That was wonderful. Thank you. Now, before you go, I heard one of the guests talking about a beautiful crystal they saw downstairs. Perhaps it's the one you're looking for. I'm sure it is. Thanks. I've got to get that crystal and close the portal. That's the only way Cinderella can live happily ever after and I can return to my kingdom. Oh, thank you for all you've done, dear. I have a feeling that everything is going to be all right now. Please say that you'll stay and enjoy the ball. I'm afraid I can't. Besides, I think the prince is getting ready to ask you for a dance. Really? Do you think so? Why, that would be more than I ever dreamed You'd of. You'd be surprised what dreams can do. So don't ever stop dreaming. Goodbye, Cinderella. Goodbye, dear. Phew! Now that I've used my magic to turn all the imps back into sprites, they can come back and tend the garden. And who knows? Maybe it'll be even more beautiful than before. Taking the sprites! That giant here has all my friends! Uh-oh! That big imp must be headed to the portal room! That imp's not here! Oh, I hope it didn't go downstairs! If it finds a way to get through the door, it could head to the portal's power source and disappear with the sprites forever! leads to Princess Tiana. Welcome to Tiana's Palace. My name's Tiana, and I'm the owner and chef here. It's a pleasure to meet you, Tiana. Well, it's very nice to meet you, too. But I'm so sorry. I'm afraid you haven't come on our best day. I've been working up some special new recipes back in the kitchen, and now everything out here's turned into a big old mess. I just hope we can open on time Maybe tonight. Maybe I can help. What's been going wrong? You know, I can't really put my finger on it, but, well, for one, all the candles on the tables just went and blew themselves out at the same time. I can't for the life of me figure out why. That sounds like something I can fix. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Thank you. Now, isn't that just the bee's knees? The dining room looks so much better. I think you must have a little magic in you. Maybe just a little. <laughs> But, have you been having any other problems? I'd like to help some more. Well, now that you mention it, something seems to be rattling the chandelier. And one of my waiters said they saw a crystal floating around upstairs. Mind you, I haven't seen it. But if you have a few moments, I'd sure appreciate your help figuring things out. A floating crystal? That's great! I've been looking for a crystal, and I bet that's it! You know, I wonder if that special gumbo recipe Mama Odie gave me would help. She said it's full of magic. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does, but I guess that someone with your magic touch can figure it out. I'd be happy to give it a try. Wow, what do you know? There really was a crystal floating up there. 
I think it landed right upstairs. Thank you so much for all your help. Everything's back on track and we should be able to open up in just a minute. I hope you'll come back and visit again soon. I'll be sure to have a pot of gumbo and some fresh beignets waiting for you. Oh, I'm just glad I could help. And I'll definitely be back for dinner soon. Everything smells Congratulations. delicious. I'm so glad the sprites are back to being sprites again. And there's no way I'm going to try any more advanced spells without my fairy godmother here to help me. I don't want to have to chase down imps ever again. Oh look! The garden is beautiful! It really needed the sprites here to take care of the flowers. I wonder if maybe one day, when I'm a fairy godmother, I can go back and visit the princesses again. I hope so. But for now, I know I have to keep practicing so that someday I can truly make a princess's dreams come true. Well, it seems that we've reached the end of our story. And what a lovely ending it was. Because one young apprentice was brave and helpful, all of the princesses had their happily ever afters.